Hi everyone, it's Rob here and I'm back with another Unity tutorial. Now, have you ever wondered why your sprites in your game, your 2D sprites, aren't affected by the lighting in Unity? Well, this isn't a problem with the game engine. It actually has an, uh, an actual way for light to be reflected off of the sprites that you put in and to interact with it. But the unfortunate thing is that by default, uh, Unity does not do this. We actually have to take some steps on our own. So you'll see here that I've created a new sprite. I did this by going to Game Object, 2D Object, Sprite. Next, uh, I chose a default graphic here. So when I first created this sprite, there was nothing there. What I did was I went down here and I decided uh, what graphic I would want to use. So what I did here, whoops, sorry. I actually ended up changing. So there was no graphic in the sprite part. What I did was I actually chose knob. Right? You still can't see it because I accidentally switched off this material here, which I'll put back to sprites default. So this is the default material. Now, I'm going to grab this directional light and I'm going to rotate it. And you're going to notice something very peculiar. My background, my scene changes, right? The skybox changes dynamically uh, to reflect the lighting situation of this directional light. But the sprite itself doesn't change. Why is that? Well, by default, uh, this the material, the default material that Unity puts on sprites doesn't allow them to interact with the light. So what I've done is I've actually, if you look down here, I've created a new material. I've called it Sprite Mat. So I'm going to take you through the steps. I'm going to go Create Material, and I'll call this Sprite Mat too. Now, you'll see over here that we have all these options, and this is this could probably take at least three or four tutorials where we could show everything here. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Sprites, and I'm going to say Diffuse, or Diffuse. Now, right here, you'll see that we have a tint and a pixel snap, right? But those aren't important. What is important for now is taking this material and dragging it onto my sprite. Now, why is it so dark? Well, let's see. Let's grab our directional light, and let's start rotating it. Right, because we know now that our background is dark. But you see, now our, our sprite, as the background gets lighter, our sprite gets lighter. And as the background gets darker, our sprite is going to get darker, right? Because of this, how the light is reflecting off of it. So again, if you want your sprites to dynamically interact with the lighting in Unity, you're going to want to add a new material to them. Uh, and you're going to want to specify that it is a diffuse sprite material. And then another thing we could do we could change this tint. So now we change this tint. Oops, sorry about that. We change this tint, move this around, and now we're getting all these tints of red there. So it's really, it's really up to you with uh, how customized you make these materials. Again, if you take a look at our standard material, you'll see we have a lot of options here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, interact to have light interact with sprites, we want to use this type of a material. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.